Elizabeth, this is yes. the season that uh, we stranded you on a planet and, and did what S.H.I.E.L.D. does not do often, but does something that is extraordinary, where we just change everything up. And this was primarily you alone for an entire episode. Uh, would you like to talk about that experience and, or anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh... I mean, I got to kiss someone new in the episode. <laughs> um, no, it was good. I mean, it was amazing. It, I, it was lonely. I did miss all my best friends. Uh, but it was cool. I mean, it was a, that was a crazy shoot, and we were out in the desert, and um, Gary Brown, we were there together. It was, <laughs> it was fun. I never thought it would happen, and then when it did, it was they... I remember you sitting me down and saying, hey, we have this idea, and... We don't know if we'll get to do it, but we're going to tell you about it anyway. And then we were out there shooting, and I had a lot of lines to learn. Um, and it was great, but just seeing that played back, it was so crazy. I remember so many moments of that season so clearly now watching it. Yeah. I remember you, Chloe, in, that, in the Zephyr, on that moment that, you, that we saw Lincoln blow up, and it was just... Yeah. Uh, Oh my God, just watching, and then watching that there, was like, you just did that all day. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Again. Again, I feel like we just torture you, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But you, that was just so brilliant. I remember being so just bowled over by that. And yeah, it's just crazy thing. Yeah, I could watch it. It is, it it's really yeah. feels like we're watching a, like, I, this is your life? Yeah. yeah well, it's really bit. weird because it doesn't feel like it, and then it does. It feels like we shot that 900 years ago, but then also yesterday. That's, yeah, it's as soon really... as you see it, you're like, oh, you remember exactly what yeah. you were doing. The, the other gut punch one for me was the spies goodbye, mm. and that shot of Henry holding the, oh my God. Oh my <laughs> the God. shot glass. I wanted, to, I wanted to get Henry. You had joined the cast and, and had come in with, with Bobby and Hunter, and then Bobby and Hunter had to move on. What was that like emotionally for you and, and just in general joining this insane group of folks? Uh, it was, you know, I didn't know a damn thing about the show, quite honestly, before I joined. <laughs> I'm lie. But um, no, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it was, uh, I knew right away it was, um, it was uh, an experience that was very unique. It was something I had never uh, done before. But in particular to that scene, The Spies Goodbye, um, it was very emotional for me because those two uh, I was and am very close to. So it wasn't just me acting. It truly was me saying goodbye to two friends that, I, that I'm not going to see on a consistent basis. So uh, it was, there was an extra... Um, depth of emotion there for that scene. It was really, it was my way... I took it personally. It was my way of saying to them how much I love them and how much uh, I'm going to miss them. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, just to, as a follow-up, Henry, did you ever think in your wildest dreams that you came on the show as essentially the mechanic and are now the director of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Hmm. Yeah! yeah! Hell no. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, when I first came on, I was recurring. I mean, Jed, you even said I came on, I was just supposed to be there for Fitz to help him out, and then they would decide whether they'd cut me. Well, no, we, no. we, were, we were like, we're going to have, we're going to give Fitz like a big mechanic friend. And then we, we cast Henry. I remember the first time we framed up on you, you're working in a car. I was like, and, he needs to stay. Yeah, the camera pans over. <laughs> Let's keep him, he, The please. camera pans over and everybody at Village just kind of went... Yeah. Like, did you just hear money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know you could hear money. No, it's true. I mean, we all talked about it. There's this shot of him working and he's wearing this flannel shirt <laughs> and he's leaning forward and he looks up and we all went, ka-ching! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. And then do you remember when we came and talked to you at the end of that season? Oh, I won't forget that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These guys, what they do is they... Before they kill you, they call you in and say, we need to talk to you. As so a I remember Jeff Bell and Jed were walking down the lot. And they're like, Henry, I ran. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, if you can't tell me, I can't hear it, you can't kill me. But they gave me the news and I was, I was over the moon. That was a great, yeah, yeah, was that was a a great dream come true, honestly. 
But uh, becoming a director, look, I don't want to take all the time here, man. You do. <laughs> but you do becoming a director, you're here to talk about. I mean, it was uh, never, never would I think that. I mean, honestly, uh, just a mechanic, you know, working on some cars, and then and thing, things gradually grew. They got me out there. I got my shotgun axe. <laughs> yeah. I said, I got my shotgun axe. <laughs> And then uh, nice Colson died. Someone need to step up. <laughs> <laughs> and then they gave it to me. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Natalia, <laughs> uh, I, I remember being on the set the night that you and Henry had to shoot the scene where you had to take him back from the framework and, uh, <coughs> uh, and how you both believed in hope. Um, can you talk a little bit about your working on this and that in particular, if you wanted, or? Um, that scene was one of my uh, favorite scenes to shoot in this show because, um, you know, when you read the, the episode, as some of the, the guys up here were talking about, you don't really fully understand the, the filmmaking aspect of it, you, as an actor, you s understand the story, and I didn't know that we were going to be bawling our eyes out for how long? Five hours, and having to pause in the middle of crying, hold the tear, <laughs> and have them remove a table because things started to disappear around us, and it took a lot of uh, Billy, I think, right? Billy was who directed it, yeah. And um, it was the final scene of uh, season four. And we were um, there. I didn't know if I was going to come back. I wasn't a series regular. And the rap party was waiting for us. And it was just really special to close that season and be the final scene and be around the crew. Uh, have I think it was probably one of the first really emotional scenes that I had. And share it with Henry. Have the whole loss of his child. That was such an important part of Max's story. So that scene is... I always remember it as one of my favorite, for sure. And, uh, Ian, we saw a whole other side of you. We saw and of Fitz uh, when Leopold emerged. Um, how was that to be basically the, the big bad of the season? Um, it was pretty fun. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, as I was saying that, Elizabeth went, don't say it was good. Okay. <laughs> she knows me so well. Um, no, it wasn't fun, actually. You would go home at the end of the day, and it, was, like, it wasn't a nice feeling to be acting like that all day. Jeff Ward. Woo! Hi, Jeff Loeb. This is, this is where we found you in the future. Yes. Uh, what was it like joining this cast in season five and, and continuing on into season six as you have miraculously returned? <laughs> Um, yeah, it was crazy. Um, I, I obviously, like, uh, I, these guys all know I was cast as a different part. I was cast as Virgil, who gets claws through his face in the second scene he is in. And so I thought that I was going to be there for one day, and then, uh, I ended up, I ended up coming back. And well, then he killed the table read so massively as the guy who gets clawed in scene two. <laughs> right. Another person, I guess, wasn't available or didn't work out, and we were... No, we, we, no, no, we, no. Just had, we, never well, we had never found it. We were still looking. Yeah. And yeah. then we... We, we have actor we've done a lot of episodes of this show and we have people come in every week for a new table read and come in and read and you know usually we're shooting and half of us are covered in blood and we're tired and 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 we do the table read and we we hear this story out loud and then we leave and people die all the time on the show jeff came in was this one character that died and i've never heard, like heard a table Re the, it's, it never, no one ever reacted like that. When, oh, he, when, he, when, died, he, when, he, when he died, died as the went, other character, no, everyone went, no. no, we didn't know who he was at all. He came in and he just stole the part and like he immediately did. you just wanted more of him and he's, he's been such a wonderful addition and we love you. I owe all of them a lot of money for saying that. So Aww. that's, um, you paid me, you've been with me earlier. <laughs> well, it's funny because like, as I, you know, and then, um, they were like, okay, you're doing three episodes. And I was like, amazing. And then it was, you're doing four or five. And then, um, it got to, it was amazing seeing the part where, uh, it blows up white light. 
because we were doing that episode. We did the table read for that episode, and I had, you know, I got blown up. And right afterwards, our, one of our ADs, Jocko, took me back into the office, and he goes, hey, man, I just wanted to show you. And it was a wall of headshots <laughs> with huge X's all over all of them. Yeah. And he was like, see how many people died on this show? You're in good company. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so I'm, I am, okay, so I'm dying. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know I was gonna get pulled into this room and told that right now, but cool. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. And, uh, and then they, and then, you know, usually when someone dies, they kind of give them an applause at the table read, like, thanks so much for being here, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get that, so I was like, I must have really, they gave me that part and must very much regret it. But, um, and, then I, and then they were like, no, no, you're, you're coming in the next one. And then it kind of went from there. And it's, um, <laughs> I'm trying not to get emotional. Um, I, it was like crazy, because I really, I fell in love with all these people, uh, working with them and being with them every day, and they're all such talented artists, and um, very, really care about what we're doing, and, and care about each other, and, and it comes from the bosses, um, down to, to Clark, to Ming, to Chloe, to, you know, everybody sitting up here is like, Everybody took me in in a way that they really didn't have to. And it's, it's when you're coming on to a show that already exists, it doesn't usually work out that way. So to be taken in by this family in that way, and, and now like two and a half years later, I love all these people very, very much. And to watch all that, it's, it's it, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's, uh, I'm just it's happy crazy. that I used to have the biggest laugh on set. <laughs> and when Jeff came along, <laughs> He took that crown. <laughs> it was yes. awesome. Everyone constantly tells me to stop. <laughs> you can that tell, you know, when, you know when they're on, on stage. You can hear, you know when Ming's around. Like, you yeah. hear it in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ming's here. And now Jeff fits in the same category. And, and they also, like, the, everybody, you know, it, the character started to change so much because of... Because of Zima. Because of Zima. <laughs> because we, you know... They wrote me that amazing scene, and that kind of, I think, started to shift where the character went a little bit and turned him into what he is now, which is crazy. And, <laughs> uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's been an honor to, to be part of this. I'm really lucky. So, Clark, as, as we know. are getting uh, closer to wrapping up, um, I, I think it's sort of right and honest to talk about the end of season five, where uh, we really thought that was going to be the end. And so you uh, got to finally say goodbye to Agent Phil Coulson. And what, what, was, that, what was that like? Oh, uh, it was, you know, the episode was called The End. As our, our family that's out there knows, we never know when we're shooting the end of the thing if we're going to get another season. Kind of felt like we weren't sure if we would. And it was an episode where Coulson is, you know, he's not entirely unhappy because he's stepping onto the sands of Tahiti. But what was written was really beautiful and really a culmination of a lot of stuff. And, you know, what happened with Ian was incredibly moving. And as everyone has said here, the, the membrane between the fictional story and our real lives gets very thin. And there's a lot of history and love. And we've been through a lot of stuff together. So saying goodbye and saying I love you to Chloe we be, I couldn't even rehearse the scene. I just said, put tape down where we're supposed to stand, turn those things on, because it's going to get messy. And uh, it's been an, it was an amazing episode to shoot, and nobody was more surprised than me <laughs> to hear about Sarge. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast and the executive producers of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and I share with you, this is the flagship show of Marvel television, and it's the show that I love most. Oh, oh. Hey.